Hi friends, it's me, Emily. I am currently in the state of Alabama where there are millions more trees than in the state of Texas, and I am highly allergic to pollen, so that's why I sound like a garbage disposal as a robot. Otherwise, you probably noticed my hair is an entirely different color as well. That's part of why I made this trip, other than just visiting with my family. But I um, also may or may not have done an oopsie and spent $100 buying new makeup from Ulta. I am not ashamed. I am actually incredibly excited. And I got enough products that I do believe that I can do a complete face of makeup. I may be missing one or two products that you would typically use for a full glam look, but we're gonna do our best to see if I can have an entirely complete makeup look on my face using only the things inside this box. Now, I did get a couple of free gifts from Ulta Beauty and from Tarte because of the purchases that I made, which is one thing that I really love about Ulta. And through those gifts, I do believe that I can do an entire face. So I'm going to start with um, one of the free gifts I actually got from Tarte was this cute little set of um, minis with a hydrate, a micellar water setting spray, and a, this is not concealer, what do you call this? A primer. <laughs> so I'm actually going to hydrate first because I haven't put any like facial products on after washing my face this morning. So if I can get it out of this cute little package. Oh, this smells really good. Very sweet, but like not overpowering. That's really nice. I really enjoy this. It's a, uh, don't hate hydrate. And then I'm going to use the Shape Tape Primer that I got as a mini. And it seems like it's gonna be a really nice pore filling primer. So let's just see if this does a good job. Uh, it feels like it's a little bit difficult to get a lot up on my finger. I have not used any of these products yet that I purchased, so this is also a little bit of a first impression. Uh, the main reason I made this purchase was because I wanted to try out some new things and there were some launches that I was pretty excited about. The main thing was the um, new Dewy Wet n Wild foundation and also the main reason I made a purchase is because I was out of my eyebrow pencil. And now I don't know if that specific shade is going to match my hair, so we'll see. But uh, I didn't purchase really any tools, so I am gonna be using some of my own tools like my e.l.f. sponge, but I do have the Wet n Wild Dewy Foundation. Some people don't really like this paddle brush. They feel like it's a uh, kind of germy, but I like it because I always rub my foundation all over my face like this, so it actually makes it a little easier. Okay, so forgive this little patch right here. This is actually hair dye since I made my hair so dark. Um, it actually has stained my skin a little bit, so I'm not going to judge the foundation for not being able to cover up literal, like, gray on my face. But otherwise, I really like this. I feel like I got a really nice, like, coverage. I look very, like, hydrated and, like, naturally dewy, like, kind of a lit from within look. I feel like I look just very awake and, you know, like put together, very nice. Okay, so once I decided that I was actually gonna be spending some money on this purchase, I wanted to really try out the new uh, Shape Tape Glow Wand. And I, I obviously love things that are illuminating and dewy, so I'm so excited to try this. And it looks really pretty. Like it looks very nice and like shiny. And I'm excited to use the little end, so. I watched some videos of like the Tarte girls using this and they kind of applied it like on the high points of their face, but also just like right above their eyebrows. So I'm interested to try out that method and I'm going to use this little sponge that comes with it for like this side and then just like my regular sponge on the other side to see if I feel like this sponge really helps or 
makes a difference or anything. It is really a soft sponge. It's like a lot more delicate than I was expecting it to feel on my face. But it's also really cute. I like purple. There's a fuzz from inside my box. Okay, so that's half of my face with it blended in. I think it looks really pretty. And then we're gonna do the rest with my sponge and see if it really makes a difference. I don't think it's a huge difference. I think it is a little bit quicker to blend it with a larger sponge, obviously because the sponge can cover more surface area. But overall, I think it does look very similar on both sides, and I love this at this moment. It seems really pretty, so let's see how it wears. Um, also, I got from Tarte this Beach Cheeks like cream blush. So, I forgot to get my blush brush. I'm actually going to dip into it with a brush, even though it is cream, because I think it helps it blend across a little bit better. So, I'm just going to take this beautiful like mauve pink just pop it on my cheeks and just a little bit on my nose so usually I would go in with a cream like contour first but I didn't get any like cream bronzers or contours with this purchase. I did, however, get a powder bronzer. So I will just wait until that portion and apply bronzer there. Okay, this blush is super pretty. I look very like a beach babe. Um, <laughs> right now I feel like I am very dewy and very like highlighted. I did not get specifically a setting powder with this purchase. So we're going to see if maybe I can make one of the eyeshadow shades do a little bit more of what I needed to do as far as setting. And um, typically next in my routine, I would move on to eyeshadow. So this is my eyeshadow palette that I picked up with this purchase. On this specific day where I made an order, it seemed like all Sugar Rush um, products were on sale 40% off. So, you know me, looking for a good deal all the time. I was definitely excited to jump on this. And this palette just looked so cute. It is called the BU Eyeshadow Palette. That's so cute. This is uh, very warm, but it has some really nice cool tones with it too. And I think, if I can get it open, childproof. There we go. I think I'm gonna try to set a little bit with this shade and maybe this shade like right under my eyes since it's a little more yellow um, for like a brightening. So I'm going to use a thicker brush and kind of like tap into it like right here to set um, like on my cheeks where I would put some more powders so that they kind of blend in better. They don't like stick too much to the dewiness of my face. And then just right on my T-zone. This is actually a really pretty eyeshadow base color, like regardless of the fact that I'm trying to use it to set my whole face. This is kind of the shade that I would typically apply on my eyelids to really get ready for eyeshadow. Well, I feel like that works decently well. And then I'm gonna actually take a eyeshadow brush with this more yellowy shade and tap it under my eyes so that it's really focused. And I feel like I can get away with this because banana powders, which are supposed to be like a highlighting setting powder, tend to be obviously banana shaded, which is a little bit more yellow. So I think that this should hopefully look okay. All right, here's my face right now. And I think I really wanna go for some of these more like yellow tones. They just look so beautiful in this package. So I'm gonna start with a base of like this really pretty golden. 
And I just love like the way that they pressed these pans is that it's not just such a cute design with the bumblebees and the honeycombs. Also, I definitely love bees. So this may or may not have pulled my heartstrings and convinced me to buy it. I'm all about saving the bees, no matter how much pollen is trying to kill me. Okay, this is such a beautiful shade. This is literally only one eyeshadow shade on my eye and like, Look at the difference. This is so beautiful. So I'm gonna apply a little bit to my other eye real quick and blend that out. Okay, so here's just this beautiful like golden shade. These probably have names, but um, I don't know if I could figure it out. Maybe be really be brilliant. <laughs> I've never been good at that kind of thing. But I'm going to add like a little bit right here in the deeper crease, a little bit of this. Uh, lighter brown, maybe be sweet, just to kind of darken up right here and really add some depth to this beautiful eyeshadow color. And then I'm gonna tap just on the outer corner, this deepest, I, I think I'm reading these right. This is B positive. And I'm actually gonna get a little bit of a smaller brush to really hit just where I want it. Kind of blend that in. Wow, this is looking so pretty. I really like this eyeshadow palette. I tend to really love uh, Tarte palettes, which is why I'm more likely to purchase one, especially if they're on sale. <laughs> um, I own probably three other Tarte palettes than this one, and I have always enjoyed them. So. <laughs> All right, so this is where we're at with this look right now. And I think, I think I'm going to actually switch from this palette. I wanted like a very sparkly yellowy gold. And so I actually purchased this Steal Your Man shade from NYX. And I think we're going to kind of top this. Ooh, this is really like very um, smooshy, a lot more gel-like than I was expecting. I, this is fun. I could be touching this all day, even though that's kind of creepy. Um, we're just going to tap that here. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love with this look right now. Uh, this is an incredible, I think I paid like $4 for this. I would definitely suggest if you are looking for a very like in your face, like shine not glitter there is a glitter effect to it but this will not look like chunky glitter this is going to look very high shine glitter um very smooth small particles of glitter but oh my goodness yes i am all for this i'm gonna wipe this excess on my box <laughs> okay but i do want just in the inner corner i'm gonna wipe my just in the inner corner this like lighter it's even more I think it's called be fun this even lighter beautiful like yellow gold right here in the inner corner and I actually want to go just under my brow bone for this nice and then underneath my lid I actually want to use this very nice like um, maroon kind of shade. I think it's called Be Fly. I'm just going to sweep that right under my lid to really make my eyes pop. Okay, so I have to say I absolutely love the way this look turned out. It is super pretty. I feel like it's actually even prettier in person. The lighting kind of washes it out a little bit. But I will definitely show you in natural light my whole look once I'm finished. 
but um this nyx single is wonderful i would definitely suggest these and they're really not expensive and this palette is just so cute on top of being like very beautiful colors on my lid so the eyebrow pencil that i had originally wanted to purchase was this ulta soft brown ultra slim brow pencil which is one of my favorite pencils i've ever used and it's not super expensive they are ten dollars and you can usually get them like buy one get one buy two get two buy two get three you know they have all kinds of deals all the time on ulta beauty products the only thing about this is it's so hard to open oh my gosh i could sit here all day but um I ended up buying two because at the moment Ulta Beauty had a deal where if you spent $19.50 or more, you got a free Ulta Beauty products bag, which Ulta Beauty does tend to have some really amazing products. So since I was already going to buy one pencil anyway, I figured why not go ahead and buy two? I'll use them. Oh my goodness. I might literally use my teeth over this. Literally, only complaint about these pencils. The plastic is so hard to get around. Okay, finally got that all off. Oh my gosh. So, <laughs> this is the soft brown shade. Wow, that's really... This is soft brown shade, and I currently do not have soft brown hair, so we'll see how this goes. But I do love this pencil. I feel like it's really easy to apply and it has good color payoff without being too waxy so my eyebrows are probably gonna look whack simply because they're not gonna be the right color for my hair but i purchased this like a whole week before i ever dyed my hair because obviously it came in the mail so i wasn't quite sure how my hair would look Well, there's my eyebrow. It's uh, a little more brown than my hair. And we'll do the left one. All right, well, whoops, that's not the right side. Here's my brows. I keep trying to put these on the wrong side. Oh my goodness, okay, clear goes on the spoolie. Ta-da. All right, let's go through a second. Okay, so as part of my free gift from Ulta, I got this cute little beauty bag, and it has a bloom and blush palette. The blush is, um, as you could probably guess, blush and the bronzer. And the bloom is this cute little cool tone, very springy, like eyeshadow. I'm really excited to use this. I know I didn't use it today, but I didn't feel like any of these colors would really blend with the look I was going for. Um, I also got this mascara, which I'll most likely be using. And, oh, I should have thought to use this eye primer with my eyeshadow, but I know that they have really good eye primers. It came with a sparkly lip gloss, a face, poreless face primer, but I obviously used the tart one, a lipstick, which seems to be a really pretty color. Ooh, very nice pinky nude. And a brush. So we're gonna use this brush real quick to see how well my eyeshadow has a face setting powder work with this bronzer. So I tend to like Ulta brushes. They're pretty good for like uh, some of their brush, face brushes and eyeshadow brushes I've used before. They're pretty good, but um, I've never used this one, I don't think. So it's not very dense, which is probably great for applying bronzer. This bronzer shade is a little bit warm, but I feel like it really is blending with my face makeup currently, and it kind of goes with my very warm, golden um, eyeshadow look, so. This brush is making it a little bit difficult to get the color to really pay off right here on my forehead, but. I do think they sold this as a blush brush, so you know, maybe blush would be the most ideal, but the bronzer is working pretty good. Alright, so I actually 
fairly like this bronzer. It's not like the favorite I've ever used, but it did apply well. And I think the tone is very nice for my skin tone. And it blended in pretty easily. So um, I am also going to apply just a little bit of this blush. Substantially less than the bronzer since I already have the cream blush underneath, but I do like the sparkle of the blush and I do not believe that I purchased a highlighter with this um, order. So, you know, you gotta get a little shine in when you can. Ooh, I wonder if there's a shade in here that would be a decent highlighter for me. Let's see, this might be way too cool. Yeah, that's way too good. Anyway, oh, the other reason I made this purchase mainly was because I really wanted to try like a coppery shade eyeliner. So we're actually going to do this in my waterline, see if it um, really enhances the look or even like shows up at all. So. I do feel like you can see that a little bit. This is pretty. This was on sale, I think, for like $2. It's an LA Girl eyeliner. Anyway, so let's see. I think I have almost everything. I just need some setting spray. I always do setting spray before mascara because I have a terrible fear that I'm going to shut my eyes with my mascara on. It's just going to run. I actually got this flower seal the deal and it's the luminizing setting spray there was only like four reviews of it online but they were all super positive and i'd heard great things about just the regular flower setting spray so that is one of the finest misters i've ever used on a setting spray that felt amazing and it looks beautiful and we'll just let it <laughs> what are you doing oh you want to you want to use the flower spray it felt really good. It's very, it's very um, luminizing in my opinion. I feel like I'm very lit from within. Do I look so pretty? I look pretty? I look pretty. You do look pretty. You do look pretty. Thanks. <laughs> okay, so anyway, um, I think the last product that I'm really going to apply other than some nice shiny lip is the Maximum Lashes Defining Lengthening Mascara in the shade Jet Black from Ulta. So, um, it has a pretty decent brush. I've used some Ulta brushes before and I feel like this is probably the one that's very rubbery feeling, like very hard bristles. We'll see how this looks once I apply it. Um, as far as mascaras, Ulta Beauty's mascaras don't tend to be my favorite because they're priced very similar to the drugstore mascaras like Maybelline and the L'Oreal Voluminous Lashes. Um, but I just don't feel like they deliver as well. And so if I'm gonna be spending $9 on a mascara anyway, I would definitely prefer Lash Paradise. But that's just a preference. If you like the Ulta Beauty mascaras, more power to you and better off for Ulta. All right, well, I definitely feel like it's a little more lengthening than volumizing, but there's this mascara. And we'll just get some on the other eye. All right, so here's my mascara all done. I do think that this was a decent mascara. It would not be my first choice of mascaras, but I can see my lashes. They definitely look lengthened, so I feel like it helps complete this look but I also purchased two lip products there we go. two lip products separately from the ones that came in the uh, Ulta Beauty deal I got the Almay color and care lip oil and a stick it is just a very like natural pinky nude uh, does it see what color rosy glaze and then I got this Revlon kiss cushion lip tint I actually have this in another more mauve shade and I love it. So I wanted to see if the darker shade would really uh, show up on my lips, if it would have like a really nice opaque look or how sheer it would be. So this is the one I'm gonna try today. I 
It also smells like sugar cookies. And it feels so hydrated on your lips, which is why I wanted to try a different color because I already knew I loved this product and it was on sale for like $6.99 instead of $9.99, but I would have paid $9.99 for it any day. It is a little bit sheer, but I would say mostly opaque. I feel like this is a flattering color on my skin tone and mm, always feels so nice. And since I do have this like shimmer gloss from Ulta, I think I am going to try to top this look off with this jelly gloss lip gel from Ulta. Just right in the center for some shine. So here is my completed look. And let me get you to some more natural light so you can really see what this looks like when I'm not in my vanity lit bathroom with my video lighting. So here's my face in natural light in front of the big bay window in my sister's bedroom because it's the most beautiful natural light we have. But I think this look turned out really nice. I actually really enjoyed all the products I used. And if they wear well throughout the day, I definitely will continue using them. Even the mascara being probably my least favorite is a good mascara. And I think my face looks very beautiful. And I'm really amazed that I was able to do an entire face lacking just a couple of products that I would regularly use. I think the only thing that could really amp up this look would be like a solid eyeliner, like a black wing or something, maybe even a deep brown. But... I really enjoyed this, so... And this is what my lipstick looked like immediately after eating a full meal and drinking like four mimosas. So it is now 4.30. I did my makeup at about 11.30 this morning and this is how it's looking right now. I feel like it's holding up pretty well. I do feel like my pores are a little bit more visible. It is a little bit dewy right here in the T-zone. I do believe that's because I didn't have a true setting powder though. My eyeshadow still looks beautiful and um, I did end up having to reapply my lipstick because we went out for brunch and mimosas and uh, my lip tint did not hold up to its true color anymore. It is actually pretty close to this, but I just kind of put a little wash of lipstick over it. Um, otherwise, I think this makeup is still holding real strong and I am loving the way I look today. Well, here's my face now after having my makeup on for like a solid 12 hours. It is around 12.42 a.m. and I feel like it held up pretty well. It's definitely not the best, but also not the worst. So I really enjoyed this makeup. And now we're gonna wash it off. I'm gonna try the micellar water and then the face wipes and see how this goes. So I'm gonna put some in my hand. How those look? Okay, I did a pretty good job. Here's this face wipe. I feel like all of these products were really good and I definitely enjoyed the way my face turned out today. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it and I hope to see you guys again real soon. Bye! 20 years later.
I feel like a child right now. Ulta brow pencils, now child proof. It's harder to get into than your medicine bottles. <laughs>